In this video, we will create an awesome looking animated gradient background which is very interesting and easy to create inside of DaVinci Resolve by using some fusion tools. You can use this background in any kind of motion graphics project. Hey guys, my name is Vikash and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in the edit page of DaVinci Resolve 17 and before we get started we have to do some basic setting. So click on this setting button right over here and set the size of this project 1920 by 1080. You can go with 4K as well and we have to select a frame rate. So in this case I am using this 24 frame per second but you can go with 60 frame per second or 30 frame per second whatever you want and click on save. And once you have done this, we have to take a new fusion composition because we are going to create this animated background inside of this fusion page. So just go to this media pool by clicking on this button and right click on this media pool and click on this new fusion composition. And inside of that, we have to type a name for this. So I'm going to call it background. You can set the duration of this composition maybe 5 second, 10 second, 15 second, whatever you want. So in this case, I am setting this value 10 second long frame rate 24 frame per second click on create now let's drag this uh, fusion composition on the timeline just like this and then go to your fusion page and here we will get this media out node so just drag this media out to the side for now and let's start by creating a background so click on this background button and uh, drag it to the viewer we need only one viewer so click on this single viewer Let's increase the size of this preview window and drag this background into the second viewer. And as you can see, we have a black background. So let's change the color. Just go to this inspector window and we have to select a dark purple color. Hit OK. And let's take one more background node. So click on this background button again and just drag this background to the viewer. Hit F2 on the keyboard. Let's call it color 01. Hit OK and let's select the first color of the gradient. Hit OK and uh, we have to take an ellipse mask. Let's attach this ellipse with this color and we will get something like this. Let's down the size a bit and uh, set the ellipse just like this. And now we have to create multiple copy of this ellipse. So what we have to do just drag this color right over here select this ellipse mask hit ctrl c to copy select this one hit ctrl v to paste so this is the second copy let's drag this second copy right over here let's make it a smaller select this one hit ctrl v again to paste let's make six different copy just like this now select all the ellipse node hit ctrl g to create a group or you can also select all the ellipse, right click on that and click on group. Now select both the node, hit ctrl C to copy, hit ctrl V to paste. And now we have the another copy of the same group one and the color. So this is going to be the second color. So select this one. Let's select another color so i'm gonna select this color maybe sky blue for the second gradient color hit ok drag it to the viewer and as you can see it's looking like this now select the group hit f2 on the keyboard to rename let's call it group 2 this is the second group and now select the color hit f2 and this is going to be the second color so let's call it color 02 and now we have to merge both the outputs so take a new merge node Connect this yellow background point with this color 1, green foreground point with this color 2 and drag this merge 1 to the viewer. Double click on this group 2 and here we have all these ellipse. So select the first ellipse, let's down the size and just place the ellipse in the blank area just like this. Alright, so as you can see it's looking like this and after that we have to animate this so select this merge one add a transform node and by using this transform node i'm going to animate these uh, shapes now select this transform go to very beginning of this animation right click on center click on animate just go to the end of this animation and let's set the center x value zero drag this transform into this viewer one and as you can see 
we will get something like this but we have to fill the blank area so what we have to do just select this transform go to inspector window and here we have this edges so let's change the edges to mirror and we will get the seamless effect after that let's apply blur effect so just drag this background right over here select this transform hit ctrl plus a space bar for search box and search for blur and i'm going to use this directional blur for this hit add button drag this directional blur to the viewer and after that we have to merge with the background so just drag this transform right over here drag this directional blur right over here and let's merge this output with the background so let's take a new merge node and connect this yellow background point with this background green foreground point with this directional blur and uh, drag this merge to to the viewer all right now select the directional blur and let's do some settings so just go to this inspector window and here we have to increase the blur length value so i'm going to set the length value maybe 0.5 and let's rotate it by 30 degree now let's play this so as you can see we have some weird thing right over here so how to fix that just select this directional blur go to the inspector window and here we have this clipping mode let's change this to none and it's looking like this now let's create some space right over here and we have to add some grains on it to avoid the color bending so select this directional blur hit ctrl plus a space bar for search box and search for grains so this is the green node hit add button and let's do some settings so let's down the grain size maybe 0.5 and it's looking perfect as you can see all right and now click on fit button and after that let's attach the media out with this main output and then go to the edit page and as you can see we will get animated gradient background which is looking very awesome and you can create different variation of the background by changing the color or you can change some setting over here maybe you can change the color one color two and create an awesome combination of the color and you can also change the directional blur angle for different look so as you can see you can set the angle and you can create a different variation of the same effect and now let me show you how you can use this background on any motion graphics project so as you can see this is the animated background and if you want to add some motion graphics things over here so take a new fusion composition and just drag the second composition over on this uh, background just like this and then go to the fusion page and here we have to add anything you can add some logo text whatever you want so i am using a text let's drag and drop and let's type anything whatever you want to type so i'm going to type gradient you can select any font style i'm going to use this uh, go bold font style let's increase the size a bit let's increase the tracking amount it's looking like this and then you can animate the text and connect the output of this text with this media out and you will get this type of output which is looking very awesome as you can see and now just go to very first frame turn on the loop button and then hit ctrl f to full screen and let's have a look all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial i hope you guys like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button turn on the bell notification for more interesting videos my name is vikash and i will see you in the next one till then bye bye